Next question is from Cup of Joe. What is a good pre-workout meal? I've been doing Ezekiel bread with honey and peanut butter and a cup of coffee for months, but are there better things to eat specifically for strength training? Yeah, boy, people really get caught up in the in the, <laughs> the details and minutia of things that I don't think are that important. So yeah. here's the things to focus on. Uh, studies will show that for performance, about a, a couple hours before a workout, you want to have some carbohydrates and some protein, okay? Uh, where they come from doesn't matter except for this. Make sure it's very easily digestible, okay? Because what will screw you up isn't whether or not you had – this faster absorbing starch or honey and this you know, fructose versus sucrose versus what? Who cares about that? It's not that's we're splitting hairs. It's about digestive digestion. And do you feel, are you going to your workout yeah. feeling bloated? Do you feel Is gassy? Is your body internally fighting something as you're now going to work out? Yes. That's Eat something really easy to digest. So for me, pre-workout meal would be uh, like some chicken, some white rice. And that's really easy for me to digest. I'd have maybe 50, 60 grams of carbs, 30, 40 grams of protein. And I'm ready to go. I wouldn't choose, uh, you know, proteins or, or carbohydrates that might give me a little bit of digestive distress, which where maybe later on in the day when I'm not going to work out, that might be okay. Not good uh, before the workout. I'm so glad that you went that mm -hmm. direction with this advice because when I was competing, I actually got into this a little bit. I mean, when you're when you're weighing and measuring and tracking and never missing and like we're, you're looking for every half a percent of advantage that you can get, you start to pursue some things like this. Like up until that point, I never did. Like it never- yeah, It doesn't make sense unless everything is perfect. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. Like it, like before that, I'd already been training for 15 years of my life. Never once did I like try that hard to time certain foods or really care about that so long as the overall diet was was good in the, in the day. Um, but when I got to this level where, you know, again, I'm looking for every competitive edge I can, I, I started to play with this stuff. And, you know, there's lots of stuff. There's people that are doing Pop-Tarts to do it. There's people yeah, that the are fast doing, absorbing cars. Yeah, and that. they make this case for all And here's the thing that I, what I had found from trying all the things is it was, it was the meal that just digested well for me. Yeah. It just made me feel good in general. Like, it, and it, you know, maybe it wasn't the perfect ratio of carbs to protein that you might read that, oh, this is the most ideal. Now, for, what is it where they say two to one, right? Yeah. Two there's, there, and, and there's, a, there's, there's material out there to read that will, that will point you in the direction of what that should look like. But the truth is uh, it's, there's such an individual variance with everybody's digestive system that it's whatever food gets digested really easy for you that it doesn't impede on your training that will probably benefit your training the most. Mm -hmm. And just because somebody else does this one thing that like, you know, slams two or three pop tarts and they feel amazing and they swear by the pumps doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work the same way for you, especially if things like that upset your gut. So, you know, find a meal that, you know, keeps you satisfied. You don't feel overstuffed. It feels light when you, when you digest it, it's, you've given yourself, by the way, too, I think time is important. Like sometimes people do something a half hour before your workout. No, I, I, for me, it was, for me, it's about two, two hours. hours. Yeah. Yep. Two hours. Oh, I mean, it's, yeah. I think it's 90, 90 minutes to two hours is typically, I mean, liquids are different, but for most foods, your body takes about that long to to digest it, convert it over into fuel. So, you know, if you're doing something an hour before and you think it's impacting your workout, I mean, it's really not. Mm -hmm. Most of that's not even getting converted yet. So, you know, find something that you can you can eat that you like. And here's another thing too that matters: consistency. You know, if like maybe you could put together this perfect combination of foods that gives you like your extra 1% in your workout, but it's like so difficult to put that together every day. Then what the fuck are you worried about? You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. find something that you know you can consistently do and and stick with that. And that's probably the most important. Yeah, I work out fasted every day. Every morning I work out at about 7 a.m. And I didn't eat anything that morning. It's the, it's the dinner before that's my pre-workout yeah. meal. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, that's and the biggest thing is the digestive piece. Really, the, the difference between you know, rice versus potatoes versus you know pixie sticks or gummy bears. I've seen people promote just stupid aye, aye. excuse to eat garbage, whatever. Um, it's just whatever digests well and is easy. And and what you want is some carbohydrates and some proteins. And that's basically it. Uh, really, it doesn't make a big difference. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here, or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.